everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create, and we're going to walk through Rose Parfume, which is Stamperia, one of Stamperia's latest collections. This is an 8.5 by 8.5 by 3.5, 6 page album. So here on the cover, I use the, um, what they call a scrapbook pad. This is um, one of the prettier papers um, with all these roses. I've got a couple of pieces of filigree here. And then these are cut aparts uh, from within the collection, and so is this, and so I layered all these, and then these are the chipboard pieces. I think that turned out, this is fussy cut, and so is this. This little element here, I just added, it looked a little vacant, so um, I think that makes it a nice cohesive flow. And then over here on the spine, I put this nice piece of chipboard, and then I have this big, beautiful piece of chipboard that I knew I was gonna use somewhere and I wound up putting it here on the back. So that looks lovely. So let's look inside. So the first page, we've got a nice flap, a large insert, and then I've got two smaller inserts. One of these is a card. There you go. And these two cards go into the pocket and hold everything closed. Okay, each one of the pocket pages, oops, has a large photo mat with a one and a half inch uh, border so that you have a consistent flow um, as the pages cascade. Here I've got a simple waterfall. There we go, and I just added a couple of elements to make it interesting. This is fussy cut from one of the collection packs. And then I've got two photo mats. This is uh, left open so that you can tuck under uh, each side. Again, another large photo mat. Here we have two, um, a bifold, and these are four, four by eight panels. These are cut aparts, which I put cardstock behind just to stiffen them up a little bit. There you go. Now, of course, if you want to put a, a picture that goes across both, you just eliminate that design element. And then over here, I've got a nice seven by seven uh, insert for the belly band. Oops, there we go. Okay got room for three over here got a nice large look um, photo space here and here and then I've got these two inserts that go in the pocket okay this is two inserts and then this is also has an insert inside Okay, and then over here I've got um, two photo mats. I left this open so you can apply your photo on top or underneath and make that decision when you identify your photo. Nice large photo mat. And I stuffed the pocket full of these cut aparts for journaling and put them in here. And then we have another large pocket. Also kind of stuffed with lots of goodies. Can add photos to these you can do journaling on these you can add more inserts there's plenty of room in here and then here's our last page and this is just like page one actually in that it's a large flap with a pocket and normally the large insert is on the inside and then the smaller inserts are on the outside so that's it for rose perfume i think it's really pretty i think this would make it really nice fun Mother's Day um, collection. It's very feminine. I could also see just doing a daily planner in it. It's just very feminine. If you wanted to do something along the size of like a travel journal and then use this as the decorative paper, it's really pretty and feminine. Okay, so I had a couple, sh I have one sheet of 12 by 12 left after that and two partials. And then I have a total of five eight by eights that remain. So you could use these eight by eights to make additional inserts, or you can use them um, to, what was the other thing? Oh, to, um, to add uh, more coverage to the inserts. 
So I think between the 12 by 12 and the eight by eights, you could cover one side of each one of the six that we have remaining here. So I do like to unify the edge, regardless of what the, um, the rest of it looks like. So you get that nice cascade, right? So again, this is eight and a half by eight and a half by three and a half with six pocket pages. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. Really, as we come to the end of this year, I want to thank everybody for taking time and sharing it with us here over at Scrap and Create. It does mean a great deal to us. If you are new to the channel, um, welcome. And I want to let you know that we do have an online store. So if you see uh, an album here, um, that paper is also available in our store at scrapandcreate.com. I'll be back soon. I'm going to try to squeeze one more project in before the end of the year.